Initially, all videos are private and can only be seen by the user who uploaded it. This is why when I'm observing a colleague teaching, I usually get them to log into the app first so that the video is theirs and not mine. They can always choose to share it with me later if they want to. Sharing your video is easy. Just click on the share icon towards the bottom right hand corner of the video and select your audience. Individuals can be added or removed at any time to restrict access accordingly. You can also share to groups that you've set up, which can speed up the process. It's important to note that users who you have chosen to share your video with cannot themselves share your video onwards. You are the only person who has control of sharing your video. You can also control who can see the tag sessions against each video. The default option is to allow all tag sessions to be seen by anyone who can see the video. The most restrictive option at the bottom means that each user can only ever see their own tags, no one else's. This might be useful if you're sharing a video for others to tag, but you don't want them to be influenced by each other's tags. The middle option means that users can see their own tag sessions and those added by the video owner and anyone who has been given tag session admin rights. This might be useful if you, as the owner of a video, want to share a particularly useful tag session created by another user. Simply give the other user tag session admin rights and other users will then be able to see the tag session that they have created. Once you've selected your sharing options, simply click on save, confirm and then close. Finally, anyone can choose to hide their own tag sessions meaning that hidden tag sessions can only be seen by them and not anyone else who the video has been shared with. Once you have selected your preferences, again, simply click on the close icon. You have now set up your video and tag session sharing preferences for that video.